This thing's massive. It's hard to see how big it is unless I put it next to something else. There it is next to a uh, TRX4. You can see how big it is. Huge. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And we finally got this back after, I want to say six months. It's probably more like seven, eight months or so since you've seen this monster on the channel. One ape scale from Double E. It's the Land Rover Defender um, D110. It's got a 15 inch wheelbase this, so it's actually more like one seventh scale. If you want to know how big this thing is, that is an RGT or a FTX Outback. And you can see how much bigger this thing is. It's massive, really nice. Really good stock, however, I did upgrade it on the last video. Put the um, 27T Holmes Hobbies uh, Trail Master, I believe. I can't remember, the 550 motor in there and broke the plastic gears in the stock gearbox. Um, it was absolutely fine stock and I really liked it. However, with most of my stuff, I wanted to get a bit more power out of it. Put that motor in, put a, a quick run 1080 ESC in and yeah it uh, broke the gearbox and i've spent quite a bit of time looking at different gearboxes to put in there that is going to get the best out of it finally i found an scx 10 2 two speed gearbox with all metal gears and i've got it fitted now i did manage to get this out for a run and i will show you that run um, in a bit but what i'm going to do first just going to take the body off just going to give you a quick refresher for those that don't know going to give you a quick run through uh, what this is running on. These 2.2 Super Swampers are way too big. However, I think it just looks awesome. That's why I've kept one, but it really does need some slightly smaller tires. One, because it rubs and um, doesn't get full clearance. And two, these tires are the cause of the first gearbox failure and they're the cause of the little failure that this had today as well, because they're just they're just massive. And when they get locked up and when they get um when they get locked up and stuff, it just puts too much strain on the drivetrain. But We'll talk about those in a bit. Anyway, I'm going to get the body off. And I'm going to give you a little run through um, what this is running, and then I'll show you the run footage. Right, so let's have a look over this. So first, the battery I was running today was, uh, uh, I've just bought these actually, the Gen's Ace 4000 milliamp hour 50C 2S. I bought these because although they don't fit all um, Tamiya's, they are a very good fit. I've got, I've got to test them on a few just to see what they do fit, but the problem with LiPo's is... Um, where the cables come out, they cause issues. But anyway, that's the battery I've been using. Up front, we've got the ESS Dual sound kit. Now, I do apologize when you actually see the running video. I had it on a pretty rubbish um, setting. You can program this for loads of stuff. I'll stick a video up here. Uh, I reviewed that, loads of options for that. Really good sound kit. Just today, it's a bit rubbish. So anyway, uh, ESS1 sound kit sat up front there. Uh, running it on a... Uh, well, ZD Racing, but it's a Dumbo RC transmitter with a six-channel receiver there. That's the throttle channel with uh, the sound kit and the ESC in it. Uh, and then we've got the micro servo for the two-speed gearbox. We'll get to that in a minute. And then I'm running a quick run a 1080 ESC. These, I recommend these massively for crawlers. Really, really good. Reasonably priced as well. Very good ESC for crawling. This is an SCX-10 2, two-speed option gearbox, all metal gears in there. Um, I've got this, I've got the mount for the micro server that came with this double E, but I've moved it across there. Made up a little rod for the selector and then, then just use channel four on the transmitter to select high and low range. I had it for most of the video, I had it in low range. It's a little bit near the end in high range with a bit of extra speed. I've massively geared this down. It did have, I think it was like a, I want to say 18 or 16 tooth pinion. I think I'm down to about a 10 or 11 tooth pinion now. Much better. When it was had the um, original pinion off of like the original gearbox on it, the motor was getting really, really hot. So geared it right down and it's perfect now. Perfect gearing in low speed for crawling and still a little bit of speed um, when we're running in high gear. And that's basically it underneath. All stock still on the bottom apart from these... Uh, metal drive shafts the stock ones do break so you've got some metal drive shafts they're cheap 
they're really cheap i'll leave a link to everything in the description but these are a good option i've put a bit of heat shrink around there because it's only just catching on there um but works fine and then you can see made a couple of brackets up there for the front of the gearbox where it's mounted i filled the other side of this with epoxy so it filled all the mounting holes in and then i drilled some new holes through uh, gearbox mounted in fine and it's still solid in there so obviously done a good job of that then up front we've got the 25 kilogram servo everyone uses these really popular again links to that in the description so what did i break this time well <laughs> if i hold this wheel you can see that just turns if i hold this wheel that wheel just turns I hold this back wheel this one just turns as well so I've broken something in both axles. I think it's obviously the diff. So what I need to do now is strip these down. I'm not going to do it on this video, but I want to, I'm going to have to strip these down and see what the problem is. And I guess we won't see this for another six months while I fix that. Again, massive wheels, really good, powerful 550 motor. It's just too much on this stock truck. Like I said, the stock truck works fine. Um, I've upgraded it and now finding... Um, that when you upgrade stuff and put loads more power through you're just going to break things anyway i managed to get out for a run it's a little bit of wasteland where i go for a walk so this time i took this with me no fancy shots or anything like this i literally took this my gopro with my um telescopic uh, like selfie stick thing just took that i wasn't stopping and starting to do fancy shots i was on a walk took this to get some footage for you still don't don't recommend going out and taking your stuff out bashing and stuff it's uh still not allowed to do that but yeah i kind of covered it on walking and running this at the same time anyway really good you'll see near the end of the video is where i started losing drive from the front but this thing is really really nice smaller wheels and tires it would be a really good crawler at the moment how it is i don't think we can crawl very much with it because as soon as you lock up one of these wheels um, it starts to break things anyway i'll let you watch the rest of the video uh, cheers for watching remember links in the description for everything on this i'm gonna go and find out what's wrong with these axles and then i'll see you in six months when i've fixed it <laughs>